In the universe of trophic interactions between organisms, the diet of the lizard has traditionally been considered to be based almost exclusively on the ingestion of insects, and this is actually true in most of their habitats. However, in insular environments, the availability of this food resource is more limited. The study carried out in the National Park of the Atlantic Islands of Galicia shows that on these islands, oscillated lizards supplement their diet with up to 18 different species of wild, fleshy fruits. And this change in diet has major consequences for the plant dynamics of these ecosystems. Lizards disperse seeds over considerably long distances. What's more, prior to excretion, the seeds pass through the digestive tract of the lizards and during this trip, which sometimes lasts up to three days, these seeds are subjected to a process of scarification to facilitate and accelerate germination. By contrast, the fallen seeds found in the fleshy fruit beneath the mother plant have a very small chance of germinating. The presence of the pulp covering the seed and the shadow exercised by its mother largely determine the germination and long-term survival of the seed. But lizards can disperse these seeds away from the mother plant to places where they will have less competition for survival. In fact, studies show that the seeds that have passed through the digestive tracts of lizards germinate faster and in greater proportion than the seeds that fall directly from the parent plant. The results of these studies reveal that oscillated lizards are a key component in shaping the plant landscape and the dynamics of the shrub ecosystem on the Atlantic islands of Galicia. Therefore, the conservation of these interactions is of vital importance. Their loss may result in a dangerous simplification of seed dispersal networks with the domino effect that could ensue.